okay okay good people good people good people okay yes welcome to the weekend analysis always um i try to share my market outlook for the coming week almost every weekend so if i have time at least i do something and now this has been useful so yeah most of traders they have been reporting utilizing it effectively and they have been profiting so they are capitalizing from the analysis and always i do the same so let's expect uh, i'll be sharing trades next week i'll be sharing uh, my trades i have been inactive this week i don't have i uh, i didn't took any trade but for next week let's expect um many trades now next week and uh, the coming weeks I'll be sharing most of the trades so make sure that you sh you join telegram telegram channel so the link is on our video description so make sure that you join through that link on our video description and if it's just your first time make sure that you subscribe this channel and also uh, you can share the video if you think it's useful and also you like if you feel like uh, you uh, now the video is helpful and also you can put a comment if maybe you just appreciate and also uh, if you have any anything to share in relation to this analysis because actually what i'm doing here is not a principle it's just my outlook so you can have your own outlook and actually market it always do what it is supposed to do so i can say maybe market's going to do this but market is going to do something which is different so it always do what it is supposed to do so now here is just market outlook for july now it's just the first analysis for july so it will be from the 3rd of july to the 7th of july so it's just a five uh, days market move so what i'm pro i'm providing here is just an overall market outlook so things are going to change in between the week so i can provide updates if i have any updates uh, in relation to this analysis so from there i'm going to start with the monthly time frame so in a monthly time frame actually i uh, can turn on my wave counts in the drawings so in a monthly time frame i have very few things to share and actually uh the first thing is in relation to my previous analysis i've been talking of this trend line down here so uh, and i said now what i said if you you have been watching my analysis actually it's like um three weeks consecutively uh what i was saying is just i expect now by the end of this month now it was now by the end of uh june so i was saying by the end of june i expect now uh gold to bleak to break now this trend line here so i was drawing this trend line and actually it was playing above and finally it has crossed below as I was expecting. So that's very, uh, very, very powerful. So it brings us with a possible market direction for the coming week. So actually from what has happened here, so we are able to anticipate what is expected to happen for the coming week and even for the whole month of July. So that's very, very basic. So now, <clears throat> We can also see the level above here so i have presented this level in green so it's very very basic level and it has been broken so you see now two months consecutively price was playing above this level so this level is very significant so actually it has broken for the first time and price has closed below it for the first time so mostly i'm looking forward for this level to be checked again so price must check this level uh, before it proceed to the uh, to the downside that's very basic then moving to weekly time frame okay now in weekly time frame the basic things here is just the level has been broken and the price has been pushing down as usual that's very basic so we have this trend line that has been broken so mostly i'm looking forward for price to at least check this trend line now to, before it proceed to the downside price must go up and check this uh, trend line that's very very important and at the same time now in weekly time frame we see uh price has been moving up so it completed the, it completed the fifth wave to the upside so currently it's pushing down so we expect now this movement to the downside is corrective it's in a corrective mode so if it is in corrective mode i think as we go down 
we can at least understand exactly now the formation of this corrective mode. So uh, keep on watching in lower time frame, I can provide an exact uh, direction of this move to the downside. Then quickly in daily time frame, I can go to daily time frame, but before I share things on daily time frame, I can share news. We can see the possible news for the coming week. Now this will be from the 3rd of July. So quickly from the 3rd of July, quickly from the 3rd of July now, we'll have news on Monday. Now I'm talking of the high impact and the medium impact. So we'll have news on Monday, Tuesday, yeah, almost the whole week. So we have to expect a very powerful move um, in the coming week now because we have those most high impact and it is all over the week. So that's very, very, very basic. Then now quickly in daily time frame, I have few few things to share here. And actually in daily time frame, we have the five of move to the downside. So price after completing this movement, we have this diagonal. So now it has started moving to the downside in the five wave move. So we see the five wave move to the downside. Uh, that's very important. So any five wave move against the major trend, it's just the beginning of correction. So that's principle in a lot wave. Any five wave move against the direction of the major trend, it's just the beginning of correction. So we expect that now correction has begun. So it has not yet completed. So it's just under way. So it is not yet completed. So basically we can expect that price will continue moving to the downside. But before it continue straight to the downside, so it may have some pullbacks. So what are those possible pullbacks? We can find diagonal at this region, so marked on yellow. So we have diagonal marked on yellow. So this was just a completion of the, uh, the first five wave move to the downside. So after having the diagonal, we mostly expect the price to push outside the diagonal and push up. So basically, and always this has been happening several times, mostly last year. Now you can find that uh, someone who's using this broker can have different information from the one who's using different broker. So always I've been recommending brokers to, to be used that can provide you with the, uh, what to call the clear market information. So if you see here in a daily time frame, we have this candle. So this was on Thursday and you don't see the Friday candle. There's no Friday candle here. So Actually, I always switch from one broker to another. So I always use Oanda sometimes now. So if you go to Oanda, you can find that this was the Thursday candle and also have the Friday candle. So Friday candle is missing on the other broker. So you can find that now this trend line here has not yet broken on another broker, but it has already broken on this broker. So it's very basic that or important that you use more than two, I mean, not more than, no, not more than just more than one broker. You can just switch and actually it is based on your trading specifications. So based on me, I just use um, Oanda mostly and also sometimes I can use Saxo. So that's very, very basic. So now under Oanda, you can find that now price has already completed the diagonal and has broken above. So we are looking for the retest and everything. Now we'll go on. But on the other broker now, Saxo, and the Saxo price has not yet broken. So we don't have the Friday candle. So that's very, very basic to remember. So next week we will be looking. Now you see, that's very advantageous. So you can trade a buy. Now next week you can be buying because you already know under Oanda price is already up. But under Saxo price is still down. And what's going to happen here now, price on Monday is going to open with a gap. So it's going to open with a gap, so it's opening up. So we'll be looking for that gap to be filled and then we'll proceed to the upside. That's very basic. But in four hour time frame, I can provide you with an exact direction of what is mostly likely to happen. So now when the price is moving up, how far it's going to move? So we can do the Fibonacci now from this top here uh, to this bottom. So actually you see, 50% uh, 61 so it's mostly likely to move to around those levels so in the four hour time frame I provide an exact level where price is most likely to end up but actually when it's moving up to this level it's, it will be retesting this trend line but when it is retesting to this trend line actually we still have the level up here so it will be doing two things at the same time retesting the level and the trend line so quickly in the four hour time frame now in four hour time frame we have an exact direction so you see 
So what we are looking forward is price to come outside this level, now this diagonal, even though in other brokers, in most of brokers now, price is already outside the level. So that is something different. So if I switch now like this, so if I switch to Oanda, you will find that the price you see is already out. It's already out. It's already out. It's already out of this diagonal. So that's very basic. So we'll be looking for the retest and then continuation to the upside. That's very important. So let me go. So actually, how we are going to push up, we are going to push up up to this level here marked on the on green now, the level marked on with the green color. And this level is also the same level with that trend line in daily and weekly time frame. So there's trend line that is running around this level. So that's very important. So next week, how are we going to take trades? How are we going to take trades? How are we going to take to take trades? Now in a four hour time frame, basically watch for price breaking the level, pushing to the downside and continuation. Now the push to the downside will be a retest to this broken level. So after retest, you can continue buying. You can continue buying. And then you can buy up to the levels of just 1966, even though it's, it may move up to the levels of 1981 and beyond. That's very, very important. So that's very basic. And you can put your stop orders now. You are buy limits now. You put your limit orders now. You can put your buy limit orders around the level of 1905, 1905. So price is most likely to come up to those levels, but sometimes you can take instant orders if you feel like price has already retested this upper channel of the trend line. So that's very, very important. So that's all about the coming week. So make sure that you like this video. That's very important. Like, 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 put a comment and also you can ask anything or you can add anything from what I've shared. I like your additions because I don't provide the principles here. It doesn't mean what I'm saying is going uh, is what is going to happen. So no, market is going to do what it's supposed to do. So you can add your own observations. Uh, will be just um, creative now on my end. Now it may be constructive. They can build me on the other way. So that's very important. They also like this video. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel if it's just your first time visiting us on Forex. Make sure that you subscribe because actually we share analysis, we share other trading ideas, knowledge and everything. So that's very powerful. Thank you for your time and have a great weekend. Let's meet next week on Telegram channel. Thank you.